Hello. Today's video is going to be about analyzing tables and arithmetic sequences. It's from Chapter 2, Section 2B of our Pre-Algebra Advanced Textbook. I'm Mr. Funk. And it's September 19, 2012. Here's some vocabulary we're going to need. Sequence. Sequence is a set of numbers that follows a pattern. Term is each number in a sequence. Arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which each term is a result of adding the same number to the previous term. Sometimes you have the same negative number, but it's always being added. Common difference, the fixed number being added in an arithmetic sequence. So whatever value it is you're adding each time, that's the common difference. Here we have a table, and we're going to use this to analyze the sequence of this table. First thing we look at is the number of terms. Looking at the first one here, from first to second, we have an increase of one. And it's going to be the same all the way down the road there, one, 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 which is nice. Down here, we find the difference between these two. That would be 24 minus 20, the larger, minus, uh, the second one minus the first one. It's always going to be the second one minus the first one. 24 minus 20 is going to give you four. Second one minus the first one, you're going to get another four. So we finally have that same common difference all the way down the road there. And that's known as a common difference. That plus four is the common difference. Here's the expression we use to find the nth term. That's any given term. This table only goes to the seventh. What if we wanted the hundredth, the five thousandth, the two hundred and fifty-seven thousand one hundred and twenty-three term? Well, to do that, we either have to keep adding 4, adding 4, adding 4, adding 4, adding 4, or we can work with this formula, which says we take the first term, add that common difference times, that common difference gets multiplied by the number of the term minus 1. Why minus 1? Well, this first term, do I want to add the common difference to it? No. So when I plug in 1 here, 1 minus 1 gives you 0. Multiplied by the common difference, you get 0. And you get that first term alone. Second term, you put in a 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 times the common difference is 4. Add that to the first term, you get the 24. And it's going to keep going like that. So you can find any term using that expression. Uh, here we're given a sequence, 2, 6, 10, 14. It's not in a table, but we can still work with it the same way. We're going to write an expression. I should say and, but it's an, an expression that can be used to find the nth term, and then use the expression to find the next three terms. You'll often be asked that kind of thing. All right, so step one, find the difference between each term and the next term. So difference here between 6 and 2 would be 6 minus 2, which is 4. 10 minus 6, which is 4, 14 minus six, uh, 10, which is 4. This also confirms that we do have an arithmetic sequence. If there was a different value when we did the subtraction, then you would not have an arithmetic sequence. And you'd have to look at something else. Step 2, since differences are all the same, we identify the common difference as d plus 4. Step three, use the common difference to write the expression using this formula, first term plus d and minus one. First term on this one is the two. The common difference is four. And the n minus one stays as n minus one. We need to have that variable in there because we don't know what term we're looking for. We're going to use this to find whatever term we want. Now in this case, we need to evaluate for terms five, six, and seven. Could you add 4 to 14 and then add 4 to the result and add 4? Yes. But we want to test to make sure our expression is working correctly. So we plug in 5 for the fifth term because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, so the next term would be 5. So we plug in 5. 5 minus 1 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 plus 2 gives me 18. 
Plug in 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. 4 times 5 is 20. Add the 2, you get 22. Plug in the 7. 7 minus 1 is 6. 4 times 6 is 24. Plus the 2, you get 26. So there's our next three terms. 18, 22, 26. The complete answer would be, here's the expression, and there are the next three terms. Now you try. Pause the video. Take a look at these two, two, two uh, sequences here and see if you can write an expression to can fi continue to find the nth term for both of these and find the next three terms. So pause the video now and welcome back. All right, these are the answers here. The next three terms are 13, 16, 19 on this one. The common difference is 3. The expression is 1 plus 3n. Uh, 3 times n minus 1, and it does need to be in parentheses. Don't forget those parentheses. If you do 3n minus 1, it's not the same thing. The expression here is the 20 plus negative 2. The common difference here is negative. When you do 18 minus 20, you're going to get a negative 2. So when you go to plug the common difference in, you've got to remember you're plugging in the negative value. Moving on. That will be the end of that. Tomorrow in class, we uh, will continue working with this. See you tomorrow. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to come. And I'm open asking.